Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a uh, salsa and it is called Salsa Quebrada, also known as Chunky Salsa, but here are the ingredients right here. We have cumin, salt, garlic, tomatoes and chilies, and right now I'm going to be chopping the tomatoes and chilies to show how they should be. And I'm going to be putting in this plate right here. So you grab a tomato and this one you chop in half. Just like that. And the chilies that you just want to do is take off the tail like that. And you do it to all of them. So I'll do some more. You have to do them to all of your chilies and all of your tomatoes. Because uh, tomatoes, we're going to cook right now and see how they turn out. And this salsa is different from the one we did last time. So right now I'm going to show you the cooking process of these vegetables and then see how the salsa will turn out later. Word. So I'll be back and show you the rest. So right here we're going to put the chilies and tomatoes on the stove here and just place them all like this. So we have our tomatoes and chilies here ready and we're going to put it into the blender here so we're going to take the lid off and start putting the vegetables in. So the same as last time, they were supposed to look like a little burnt right here so we're going to put it into here. So you just dump all the tomatoes and chilies in. The chilies are supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like a darker green. The tomatoes are also supposed to be squishy like last time. And let's put them in. And then we also have other ingredients to put in, like garlic, salt, and water. So let's finish putting these in. These are our last vegetables we're putting in and we're going to start putting by We're going to put the other ingredients into the blender. So this is our last meal we're putting in. So those are the vegetables. It did get a little steamy but now we're going to put in our other ingredients. And this one put off to the side. So right here we have one tape or teaspoon of salt, which we're gonna need two of them, so we wanna put that in. I'll put the other salt in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you what else. So we have a fourth teaspoon of cumin. Also you can use a pinch if you don't have things to measure. We have two garlics peeled and we're going to put them in. 
and this water like it's about like three fourths of a cup but you put until like you put more like depending how much you're gonna make so I start pouring water and then right now I'm gonna do the other teaspoon of salt So we pour in salt right here. So this uh, another salt of, or another teaspoon of salt. I put it in, and then we're gonna start blending it. So we put our lid, and then we start blending it. You also have to check it every while to see how it is so you don't put it in the water or because it has to be a little chunky so I'll be back once this is done uh, blending. So we have our finished product, the salsa, which is this right here and we're going to start dumping it in and tasting it to see how it is so we take off our lid. I'm going to put it off to the side and let's dump some in our bowl right here. And we'll, we'll serve that in this bowl later, but we're going to try it. This is our salsa, the finished product right here. And let's try it. The sauce was good and I recommend for you guys to do it. It's easy, not hard. The only thing that takes time to do is the tomatoes and chilies to cook, but it is delicious and it does make a quite a lot of salsa for you and your family to eat. So I do recommend it for you guys to make it and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be doing more videos similar to this and other videos, but that's for this one. I hope you enjoyed this salsa. It was good, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.